guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie, this is Katie Rinless. So, it's been a few, it's been like over a week <laughs> since the last time I made a video. I have, I could basically go on a whole thing about what I've been doing. Um, basically, um, I've been really busy at work. I haven't had too much of a break. I was sick on the 12th of February. And since then, I have not had a day off. So, I've been really busy and kind of getting burnt out with just everything that's been going on. And because of that, I, it came to Sunday last week. I was tired. I was not inspired to do anything. And just was like, you know, I made two videos before. And so, let that be. And that was kind of what happened. <laughs> So I do apologize for that, but I really just needed to just have a little bit of time. I it's been really hard for the last few weeks. Um, so I'm happy that February's over. And I'm going to March. Um, I'm excited for April for a couple things because I that's my first day. But my competition is also in April, so that is super exciting. To give you guys a quick update before we get into this video. Um, I will be doing a new block of training starting tomorrow. This training is through Hybrid Performance. They have a powerlifting competition taking program. Um, my competition isn't next month, but I'm going to be gone for a whole week. So it's like, you know, this might be kind of a good time to try out the program real quick. See how it goes, if I like it, and if I do like it, then I probably will do it once I come back from my training, that way I can be perfectly be timed out and peaked out um, by the time that I compete. Um, yeah, it, it is only, I think, like a two or three week program. It's not super long or anything. Um, but what I'm excited about it is that it does come from um, Hibernate Performance, who Steffi Cohen is part of that. If you go to her shoes, she is basically like one of the dominating forces in powerlifting. She gets down to like 120 pounds and she can lift, deadlift like 400, close to 500 pounds. And she can squat over 400 pounds and she can bench over 200 pounds. She is absolutely amazing and inspiring. So, but with that, I thought it'd be fun to just do a little video about just some essentials, especially if you are in the powerlifting, to have in your gym bag, some things that you don't necessarily need. But, all right so this is my handy dandy gym bag i carry this around with me at the gym um, especially depending on lifts if i'm deadlifting or squatting i get to carry this if i'm not i might just take pieces out of it but regardless i always bring this to the gym with me every single time all right so this will start on the outside so this is just a standard backpack. Actually, this, I think this backpack was kind of expensive. We got it in Costa Rica because we need a backpack and it happened to be a very expensive purchase. It was like $40. <laughs> and it's, I mean, it's held up, but it's not a not super nice backpack or anything. Um, on the outside, got my water bottle, which uh, is a four and print one, but hey, it's aluminum, so you know, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut out me uh, struggling to open this. But in the front pocket, I have. Um, that's what I'm here for. But I've got some extra hair ties in here, um, just in case I need a hair tie and I forget to bring one to work. And I have my wrist straps. I use these for benching. I'm gonna roll one out. I do get these from Strong Sean Supply. I will try to link everything down below that I have up here. Um, minus a couple things like the backpack. I don't know that. I know it has a brand, but I don't know where, else, where to find that. Let me enroll this. All right, these are my wrist straps from Strong Sean Supply. Um, this part just kind of goes over your thumb and then you wrap it around. Um, if you've seen my latest video, which I will insert here, you'll get to see me um, putting these on. Basically, they make it to where you can't move your wrist, and it keeps your wrist more straight when you're benching, so really helpful.
on my sometimes. Inside my bag, got a lot of stuff in here. I'm gonna go over the shoes first. And we're just gonna kinda lay those out. Alrighty, so these are three pairs of shoes. I typically wear these guys to the gym, especially if I'm gonna be doing some sort of cardio warm up. They are A6 and they're very dirty, but they're a good running shoe. I actually had to size up half a size because um, that's just how my feet are. I highly, if you're gonna get running shoes, highly recommend going someplace to get your foot measured so that they fit good. These are probably my most expensive pair. I'm not sure, um, but I wanna say they were like 140 at the most, um, something like that. Um, and then they're actually a gift from my husband, so he was very kind to buy these for me. I used to wear these a lot more. Um, I used to run a lot more, but still, like when I go to the gym, I like to have them on. Okay, next I've got my lifting shoes. So these I use for squat, and if I do any type of bit weightlifting, I can use them as well. The heel on them is not super high, um, but they work well for what they are. I actually got these at a discounted price. Um, somebody in the group for the program that I run, she was trying to make money for grad school, and so she was selling them for $40 and $5 shipping, so just $45. Um, but these have come in so much, in so much use with squatting, and then whenever I do hang cleans or cleans, I can use them as well. Last pair. These are definitely by far my favorite pair. Um, these are my deadlifting shoes. Also like do other stuff with them too. I used to use them to squat in, um, but the reason why they're so good for deadlifting is Converse are super flat. You basically want to be like on the ground, like as, with as much contact on the ground as you can when you're deadlifting. Um, and the reason why I love them so much is that they have Wonder Woman on them. They have DC Rebirth, Wonder Woman Volume 1, but they're just so freaking cool. Um, I am so excited that I got a hold of these. I actually found these on Poshmark for, um, I wanna say it was 50 or 60 bucks, but I, if you are into powerlifting, highly recommend investing in a good pair of Converse or any type of flat shoe. All right. All right, so another thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is having this band. I don't know where my other one is, but basically this is um, a band that goes around your legs um, and gives you extra resistance if you're doing uh, kettlebell, if you're doing goblet squats. Um, you can do monster walks, lateral walks, um, and just have that extra resistance. Um, really, really good. Um, of course, they are also strong strong supply, just like my. Um, wrist straps, but I highly recommend uh, using this brand. They make everything in the U.S. and it's my nice Fox brand and it's pretty good, so I really enjoy it. This guy here is my barbell pad. So if I am doing any type of hip thrust, I use this pad. I really don't use it for anything else. Um, I think it's just a pad. It's just like a generic one you can buy off of um, Amazon but it is very thick. It's got about an inch worth of foam, which is pretty good. And makes, it's just a game changer with hip thrusting. We do have a pad at my gym, but it is like this thin and old and kinda, kinda gross. So I like that I have my own pad um, that I can bring and use. You can also use this if you really wanted to. Um, you can use it for searcher squats. Um, you can also use it, which I will post, I'll try to find a clip of, um, but search your squats. Some people use this to put it on the barbell to do back squats. I do not do that because in competition you do not get to do that, and plus that would just make it feel super weird to me. I like that back contact, like the contact with the bar, that's just something I've always wanted to feel. And so. But I've seen people use this for that, use it when they're doing uh, front squats. Like I said, I don't do that. I use this solely for hip thrusts, but you know, whatever floats your boat. I have an extra shirt in here just in case. Um, I might forget one. I don't know. I have my deadlifting socks. Um, this is by 
wear shorts to Durham and I'm doing deadlift day. These go up to my knee and also from Strong Strong Supply. Um, they're just fun. They're just there if I need them. I haven't actually been able to use them yet, but I'm going to be trying out my singlet pretty soon, so I probably will be wearing them. Okay, now before I get to the, the big boy, the most expensive piece I have, um, I also have um, some liquid chalk. Again, once again, from Strong Strong Supply. You can tell my favorite retailer. Um, what's great about liquid chalk is that a lot of gyms don't allow you to use loose chalk, and so liquid chalk at least allows you to be able to have chalk there. Um, this one oh, got a little wonky, so I have to unscrew it. Locked a little bit, so I just open it up to scoop some out. But basically, you put it on your hands, it goes on uh, liquidy, but it, because it has alcohol in it, it dries off. And I use it when I deadlift and do any type of farmer's carries. <laughs> um, anything like strength-wise, because my hands like to get all, all sweaty. Um, so I like to use it for that. Okay, last but certainly not least is my weightlifting belt. Um, this is by far my favorite thing I think I've ever purchased. Um, like, that's not even a joke. Was, I was so excited when I purchased this. I was checking to see when it was coming. Um, I got this one from General Leathercraft. Um, they make Pioneer Cup belts, which is what this is. It is completely leather. So I did get this belt customized. Um, so it has my name on the belt loop. Um, I think they laser cut it in. And then it's got my last name on the back of it. Um, I got, I went with the varsity letter. So if you're interested, that's what that is. I do wish I would have changed the stitching coloration, but basically everything you go with, it just increases it. Um, so for a first belt, I think this is great, but I think that I might go with a little bit more customized one next time. But this one, where the different holes are, so these are in like half inch increments, so it kind of helps you be able to just get to the right length, helps you get to the right tightness of the belt. Um, especially if you are um, kind of in between. Um, I did get a small, I probably could have gone down to an extra small, so I might do that the next time um, because I think I get down to like a few lost, a few more like over here. But this still works for me, it still works great. I highly recommend checking out General Leathercraft. They make amazing belts and their Instagram is like, a, it's just really fun to watch and be on there. So yeah, I recommend them. Um, what's cool is that you can also customize the inside. Um, they will do stitching on the inside. You can, oh, what else? This can be black, you can change the stitching. You can put a logo or whatever artwork you want branded on the outside, you can stitching on the outside. It's basically the sky's the limit with their customizable belts. Um, you can also get their, pre-cut one and around Christmas time they do a sale. So I think I want to say it's in October-ish time is when they start their sale. So I'll be looking out for that because I did not know that and I paid a uh, full price for this bad boy. I want to say total was like $160 so definitely my most expensive piece of equipment but um, definitely well worth the buy. And with that, that is what is in my gym bag. Um, some of the staples that I highly recommend getting. It, so as you get more involved with powerlifting or in the gym in general, um, I highly recommend having a gym bag just so you can have all your equipment with you. Um, for powerlifting lifting specifically, I highly recommend making sure you have a pair of wrist wraps. These are game changers for benching liquid chalk, even if you're not a power lifter, liquid chalk is also great. Um, I try to stay away from straps or gloves as much as possible. Um, you want that contact with the bar and that just helps with your grip and chalk will help dry up your hands get your grip and get it. Also recommend a good pair of flat shoes for your power lifters out there. Um, these just make double things so much better. You can't just go out in socks <laughs> on the lifting platform. So these are nice. And of course, another great pair of shoes that you can just, that you're fine with squatting in. 
um, or doing cardio in. I don't recommend doing that if you don't hate the super expensive running shoe, but just something in general where you just want to make sure that your equipment is good. Um, honestly, I did not buy all this stuff at once. All this stuff I've just accumulated over the past year. Um, not, yeah, basically I've accumulated a lot of this stuff over the past year. Um, just to kind of buying a little bit at a time. Really the one I really um, had to save up for the most was definitely my belt. Um, if you are competing, you will need to buy a belt. Um, the great thing about belts is that you can buy belts that um, are a lot cheaper than the one I bought, but I wouldn't like customize it. <laughs> so it's a little bit fancier than a normal belt. But if you're gonna, if you ever wanna compete or just want a belt that is yours, I highly recommend going with General Leathercraft. They make amazing products and they are really good for customers. Alright, and that's all I have for you guys. So, like I said, just a short little video. Um, just to get back in the game. I'm excited to talk to you guys next week about how my new block of training is going with the hyper performance. So, just make sure you don't miss out on that one. Also, if you've not watched my previous videos, I'm going to leave one of the cards up there. Um, I actually started a new series that I'm going to keep up with. I'm not going to post, I'm probably maybe going to post a video every month about it. And that's just kind of how to get fit on a budget, how to stay healthy on a budget. I feel like so often we think that being healthy and getting fit is something unattainable because we don't have the money, we don't have um, the resources, but it really is attainable. It's just you might not know the tools or like where to get the tools to make it attainable. So I want to share that with you so that you can have all the necessary tools for it. With that, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you next week. Bye.